All right, so this is what I have so far. And now I've come to a critical stage where a lot of this stuff is not needed. Um, I do not need all these edge loops in this area. Like right about here, that stops. It blends in with the skull. So what do I do with all this? Well, what I would do is work my way from the biggest area to the smallest area and see what worst case scenario is first. And then I'm going to try to progressively uh, make this go out this hole. Okay, so let's see what happens here. If a point doesn't allow you to move it, most likely there is a mask on it. And this happens a lot. Uh, don't freak out. It wasn't you that actually put the mask in there. Uh, ZBrush masks off every time you save. Okay, so what I'm doing is directing this flow to a different direction. Again, all I do is have to move these a little bit at a time. There's not a whole lot of stuff going on underneath the skull, just a bunch of noise. So having these down here, is, that's fine. I mean, it would support the noise. And again, just kind of pulling these a little closer and trying to keep them as even as possible. You generally don't want to move these around too much, but that's, if that's, that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. Um, now, there's a whole truckload of stuff coming my way, okay? So I'm going to make a couple of these, boom, boom, just like that. It's like that. So this is in preparation to what's coming down the road. Might have to add more, might have to add less, but at least I have a plan. Okay, and that plan entails pushing all this stuff out this stupid hole over here. Okay, and it doesn't like the symmetry in that area for some reason. Again, you know, for fixing symmetry, you could spend all day trying to fix it. But uh, the best method I found to fix symmetry is just delete the points and start thinking where's my center point? In this case, I'm giving up the idea of having um, a natural edge loop in that area for the base of the neck, and I'll do that in Go Z. 
save myself a billion polys doing it too that's good enough right there as far as the whole okay so see me rework the area rework the area uh, solving for quads can't explain it just go it's gonna have to do it there we go that looks good except for this part right here there I have that hole I fixed all this in your face skull okay one more loop to go all the way around this and I should be good to go I think it's what's weird is it's this mesh is giving me the optical illusion in ZBrush 4 of being under uh, upside down um, which is kind of making me sick to be honest with you I don't know if that was a joke on the programmer's half or what. Like this line right here. All right, good to go. And my f finale here, let's see what happens. So I'm just stitching this up. This is the the hardest part right here. You're trying to close a mesh without a hole. And potentially that is by far the worst topology thing that you could ever imagine. If you have a hole, you, you're able to close it off quite nicely using tricks. Um, like pushing everything out, out of the hole but in this case the neck area has it's been filled up so and this is starting to really get thick as far as the topology lesson I could just see students beating me down as an instructor giving them this Alright, I better stop this and go to the next video. Alright, meet me in the next video.